Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome to another session of Names of Allah. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has 99 names. Whomsoever memorizes them will enter Jannah. In this video, we will learn three names of Allah. These three names reflect the profound oneness and self-sufficiency of Allah. We start by doing the first two names together because they complement each other. The first name is Ya Wahid, the one. Ya Wahid, the one. And the next name is Ya Ahad, the only one. Ya Ahad, the only one. Now both these names emphasize the absolute and unique oneness of Allah. He is the one and only God, incompatible and without partners. This concept of oneness lies at the very heart of Islamic belief. That's why the first step to entering into Islam is to recite the Shahada. We say La ilaha illallah. There is no God but Allah. So these two names of Allah further emphasize this idea of Allah's oneness and teach us that Allah is unique in all aspects. The only one who embodies perfection he has no equal. But what's the difference between the names Ya Wahid and Ya Ahad? Well, Ya Wahid teaches us that Allah is one, meaning He has no partners, no one who is equal to Him, and He has no parents and no children. But when we say Wahid, which is Arabic for the number one, Someone can say that, well, numerically, they can also be two, and three, and so on. But when it comes to Allah being Ya Ahad, the only one, now there cannot be any other number. Meaning that there can be no other God, Allah is the only one, and it's not possible to have any more than one. So, Allah is Ya Wahid, the one, and Ya Ahad, the only one. The next name we'll be learning is Ya Samad, the self-sufficient. Ya Samad, the self-sufficient. This name highlights Allah's self-sufficiency and his role as the ultimate source of all needs. He is independent and everything in the universe depends on him. Allah does not need anyone or anything, but everyone and everything needs Allah. Without Allah, nothing would have been created, and without Him, nothing can continue to exist. He is the provider for everyone, but no one provides Him anything. So Allah is Ya Swamad, the Self-Sufficient. So, knowing all these names of Allah, it teaches us that no one but Allah can fulfill all our needs, and therefore we should turn to Him alone and ask only of Him. This is beautifully explained in a hadith, but the Prophet ﷺ said, Be mindful of Allah and He will protect you. Be mindful of Allah and you will find Him before you. When you ask, ask Allah. And when you seek help, seek Allah's help. Know that if the entire creation were to gather together to do something to benefit you, you would never get any benefit except what Allah had written for you. And if they were to gather to do something to harm you, you would never be harmed except what Allah had written for you. So as we reflect on these names, let us strengthen our faith and deepen our connection with Allah, recognizing His oneness and self-sufficiency in every aspect of our life. Assalamu alaikum.